Okay, honey, so we're getting this new incubator together. We're so used to having something much simpler. This is not that difficult, but it's just new and has more details. So we have to switch out the rails. And by the way, guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're getting all our incubators together. We got this uh, new incubator and it already in it, it had, I think, was it 48? Is that how? Do math, Dara. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> is that 42? Is it 42? Did I do good, honey? I did good. Okay, so we're going to take these out and we're going to switch them with the quail rails. So he had to unscrew, what, the motor? The motor. You just, and then it just, these just pop out. Because we yeah. were staring at it for a while going, what, what, what? Okay, I have had a ton of quail eggs and silky eggs. So we got to get them going, guys. So finding a good incubator right now is rarer than hen's teeth. Okay, so I got this. I've got most people to say they've really, really liked using this over the years. One or two people said not their best, but, you know, maybe that was just them. And that's macaroni cooking in the microwave. But um, I did get this, and I'm going to work with this. So I'm going to do it with quail first because the quail are laying like crazy. So if this doesn't work out, it has a shorter incubation period so I can do something different or start over. I'm so independent on incubating my eggs. I do the temperature and hand turning and all that myself. So this is a new world for me. A new world. I feel like a giant. Little end. Okay, do oh. Little end. Goes in there. Turn sideways and okay. drops in. Okay, okay, way. okay. They're going to see me in my crazy pajamas, honey. This is awesome. Okay, so this is going to do 120 quail eggs. Honey, do we want 120 quail? No. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just fill it up with what we've got in terms of what's been the freshest over the past couple of days. And then if that's what we get, that's what we get. Okay, so this is how I explain things. This piece, this doohickey, goes in this doohickey with this little doohickey under here. And there's the top. That's not too bad. Now, what are you going to speak, oh, wise one? Um... um. <laughs> okay. This piece connects okay. all six of these trays together. Okay. And the motor hooks in here. Okay. And as it runs, it oscillates and turns your eggs okay. back and forth. So I don't touch them. Preferably not. <laughs> okay, so this is the little motor that is going to be turning that turns the eggs 30 degrees each way. Just goes doot, doot. Okay, so here we are in this new area my husband has built for me so I can put beautiful incubators and seeds and all kinds of pretty little things for pretty little girls. <laughs> so we're going to talk, we have been testing these incubators for several hours to make sure that they are running and working and doing exactly what they should be. I've already made videos on these. You've seen this. This is the Magic Fly. I've been using these for years. I do have to hand turn the eggs myself uh, and control everything myself, which is good because, you know, you can monitor it. This is going to be a new level of surrender for me, honey. Surrendering control. Can wow. I do it? Wow. <laughs> All right. Tell us about it. Okay. So on this one, it has a control panel that shows you the current temperature and the humidity. So if you can see it there, the humidity is 52% and currently the temperature is 100.0 Fahrenheit, unlike the Magic Flies, which reads out in Celsius. So it's a little bit different there, but this is more of what we're used to. Made in America, that's right. Um, so this control panel, what it is, is you've got the first button is to set the temperature. So you can actually change the temperature. You can on those as well but you just hold this for three seconds and then you go up or down based on what temperature that you want. Okay. The humidity is just a reading. It's just telling you what the current humidity is. The way you control the humidity is you add water and we're gonna show you that real quickly. It's really high tech. Yes, I was uh, impressed, look at that. The ultra high tech <laughs> turkey baster. <laughs> okay. And a cup of water. So underneath here then, so you just yep. lift that. So when I do it, I'll be lifting the lid just a little bit back. Right, the know? way it explains it in the instructions is because it's presumed that you have eggs in here, 
you just lift it far enough to expose the front to get enough space to put your turkey baster in there. Okay. You get the water in the turkey baster. Now this might shoot a little bit, right? We're trying to... And it's marked one, two, three, all the way to six. Those okay. are different channels in the bottom that hold the water. They're like little canals down there. Right. Okay, okay. So you want to be careful that you don't get water on the motor. That's the motor that rotates the egg. So, so you, you, you recommended to not put water in the last That's one. That's going to be kind of hard to get in there. That's correct. Or if you do, just do a little bit. So okay. I think we've already done this. basically the... line it up there with channel one and you just squeeze the bulb and put water in that one. Okay. And then you just repeat for each of the channels. Okay. And then come back in a little while and check your humidity. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're going to be doing quail. So you're seeing we uh, like right before we changed out the actual um, rails. So this actually holds 120 quail eggs, and it rotates it. We caught it when it was rotating, and it doesn't do like a rotation like this. It does like a tilt. Yeah, it rocks, it them rocks back it. and forth. Rock, rock, rock. All right. Okay, so we've put water in it and we need to be 45 plus or so. So, I mean, even if it was around 50, I wouldn't sweat it, but we would just, what, take some water out? Am I gonna take some water out probably? You yeah. could, or there's a couple of vent plugs on top of it. Oh. And if you pop those plugs, it allows more air, <laughs> hence more evaporation, lower humidity. Show me that, show this me that. This little red plug right here is actually designed to come out. There are two of them. And when you start the hatching process, you take this one out and that allows fresh air to come in and circulate. Okay. When you get to the lockdown phase, which is within Wait a minute, days, wait a minute, I'm confused. I'm confused because I'm the woman. Wait, mm -hmm. so I, when I put the eggs in, should I go ahead and take that off? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. It's it's when I get to lockdown period, I take the second one that's off. That's correct. Okay, everybody, everybody heard that. Everybody it's heard the, that. It just pops out. It's okay, so that's going to help keep the humidity. Like it goes, that's going to help control that. That's okay. correct. Okay, I said, honey, I am so smart. You are smart and good looking. I, <laughs> I got it going. Okay, so that's what I need to do. So we're just going to watch this for a couple more hours and see, okay, 99, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And just let it all adjust and go from there. Oh, look, that's so cute up there. There it is, 49, oh, that's, that's not bad. Oh, that is so adorbs. Oh, I am excited. Okay, I want to know who did this. Chula, who did it? Which one of your little children did this? Hey, who, Rocky, was it, Rosie, was it you? Oh my gosh, Mr. Peaches, it's time for your playtime. Everybody's been asking about you. Guys, Mr. Peaches lives in here for now in the kennel. We put him up for a couple of hours and then we let him out with the dogs and let him play in here and stuff. We're not letting him outside currently because he does not know the property. And so we're trying to be very guarded with him because he will take off. So he lives with the pups. He loves the pups. And there's Miss Fufarama, yes. So this is what's going on with Mr. Peaches. Okay, so I'm gonna put these first, this first batch of silky eggs. Um, this is from a friend who has a flock and said, take them. So I'm gonna try to um, incubate this first little batch of 10. Now I could probably squeeze another one in there because silky eggs are much smaller than your average chicken egg, but I'm just gonna keep it at a nice consistency. Now again, I've used these incubators 47,000 times. So they're worn, but they work. Okay, so I think we are right where we wanna be. I've got all three of these filled with eggs. In fact, I put in three of my little Americana, Scarlet, she's been laying some eggs. Not sure they're fertile, they could be, we're gonna find out. So I put those in there because I love her. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set this. As you can see, it looks like it's around, it looks like it's doing pretty good. Gonna have to keep an eye on it. If you have used this, make a comment below. Some of you may have really loved it. Some of you may not. You guys need to get along. Stop tearing stuff up. Worse than a bunch of frat boys. I got frat boy dogs. <laughs> not that I know anything about frat boys or anything like that. I don't really. I prefer servicemen and sailors. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so you can see I've it, it's art. See how it's working? So it is working. So when you saw it earlier, it was flat, and see now it's tilted. So this is how they tilt. And when you put the eggs in, you're going to put them in with the the uh, the non-rounded, the pointed end down there. Now we're going to go 15 days on these babies and then we're going to have to come in, change it up, and then take these um, rails out and then we'll lay them flat below so that they will hatch. So that's going to be fun. All right, let's load it up, baby. Load it up. All right, so you can see I've got six rails, but I've only filled one, two, three, four. So that's 80 quail, okay? So those are the little babies. Pretty excited. It's gonna be interesting to see how this works. <laughs> okay, all the incubators are set. Three chicken. The new one for the quail. Now remember, day one doesn't start till tomorrow, 24 hours from now. You don't count your day one. You don't start doing anything with them. I don't start hand turning until tomorrow. Okay, so they just sit there. Just sit there and be cute. Now, quail have an 18 day incubation period. They go on lockdown on day 15. Chicken is 21 days. And then they go on lockdown on day 18. You know, give or take, an hour or day or something like that. You know, it's never 100% exactly what you think. So that's what we're going to be doing and watching and mod uh, monitoring and modifying if we have to and taking care of for the next couple of weeks. So that'll be interesting to see what we get from that. Now, listen, these eggs are also delicate. I've had some really high hatch rates with the silkies, but then I've had a couple of low ones too. Then I've had some decent ones and then low ones with quail as well over the past several years. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out. I don't know how fertile, uh, fertilized these eggs are. So we gotta, so we're just gonna wait and see. Maybe we'll candle around day 10, day seven to day 10 and we're gonna figure everything out. So we're gonna put our best foot forward. Hope we get a lot of babies. James loves it. I know, brownies, whatever. <laughs> you can, now listen. He loves it. Don't let him fool you. Brownie or no brownie. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. We'll keep you posted. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video.